Let's go to uh, Louisville. At Miami, Louisville seems like they've got the inside track. We'll make it to the ACC championship game to take on the Florida State Knowles, but they've got to go through Miami first. Louisville's on the road there, a one-point favorite. This is an 11 a.m. kick on ABC. Miami has to go back to Tyler Van Dyke after Emory Williams uh, injured his throwing, or I think it was his throwing hand, or throwing arm, I should say, last week, diving for the pylon. Um, just a nasty, nasty injury. Feel bad for the true freshman and just his second ever start. But guys, Tyler Van Dyke just, one of y'all said it before we hit record. It's like he doesn't even want to play football anymore. And to me, you have a quarterback who's not confident, who doesn't really look like he wants to be there. I'm struggling to understand why this line is so low, despite the flaws that Louisville has. Yeah. Listen, I, that was me that said that I, Tyler Van Dyke looks like he's ready to be done and hang him up. And I know that that's probably not true. It's just the body language and way that he's played over the, down the stretch this year. But do we trust Louisville yet? Because I know they have all the talent, right? Like Jamari Thrash is a fantastic receiver. Their running game is awesome. But do we trust Louisville yet? Are we, are we ready to say that they can go on the road to Miami with a championship on the line? And I know it's not a hostile environment, but that's a talented team down there in Coral Gables. And I don't know, like wh where do you guys stand on the Cardinals right now? They, they nine and one, obviously everything in front of them outside shot at the college football playoff. But part of me feels like we might be getting a little bit of the North Carolina treatment from last year. What do you guys mm -hmm. think? Look, far be it from me to defend Louisville, okay? The, the, the scorned <laughs> lover will stay scorned. However, however, I don't think this has very much to do with Louisville. I think this is everything to do with Miami. I think that this game is entirely decided on the fact that what do you know about Miami at all? Well, what we know is they don't win a whole lot of games. They just won a, a home game in conference for the first time in like a couple of years. Like it is, this is still new types of things that's happening for them. And... and Look, Tyler Van Dyke, this is the second year in a row he's gotten benched. Not like, oh, he got hurt so he couldn't play a stretch. He got benched last year. He got benched this year. Now he's back. You're probably right. He probably doesn't want to play football anymore because he stinks. He's not good. He had one <laughs> really good year, and then he got exposed because once you get film on a guy, that's what happens, right? You get film. You yeah. see what you do well. You see what you don't do well. He's got a great arm, but great arms don't make great quarterbacks. And so I'm, I'm just, you know, he's not that good. And you're seeing that, right? He can play at the D1 level. He's fine. He's, you know, he's okay, but he's not that good. And he's not going to be good enough, I think, to take advantage of a Louisville team that, yeah, you're right. I don't think Louisville is all that great. I don't truly trust them. I don't think they've played a whole lot of tough teams. Um, and, and, you know, it's not that they haven't played anybody, but I just don't think that I trust them long term. I don't think they're explosive enough. I don't think they quite have that. They got a great run game. I, I will yeah. defend the run game there. Jawar Jordan throwing it down. He's doing his thing. Um, but the Miami, like, what are they? What even is Miami at this point? Do they really run well? Are they a great throwing team? Like, what do they really do? They, they don't do that much exceedingly well. And, and so for me, I'm leaning Louisville on this one because I don't think that I trust Miami at all. I, I agree. You, you look on both sides of the ball and it's like, man, you're, you're just kind of average. Like, you're not known for any any one thing. And so I'm missing Miami's identity. I, I don't know what they lean on when they get punched in the mouth. And, and so, guys, that got me thinking, you know, Miami's out of it, right? They're, they've got nothing really to play for this season other than spoiling the season of somebody else. Is this a legacy game for Mario Cristobal? Even though the, the attention is on the other sideline, when I think about it, I kind of tend to think, yes, he's got to show something. Otherwise, you know, listen, the, the these seats heat up hotter than that at any point in college football history. What has Cristobal done on the field to show that he's actually a good coach? I mean, I mean he was a great old line coach for the Crimson Tide a while back, right? But yeah, I mean, it, it is, it's put up or shut up time very, very soon for Miami. If not now, then very, very early next year as yeah. we expand the playoff. And I think a lot of programs are going to be looking around saying, okay, if we can't make a 12 team playoff, 
what are we doing here? Miami is certainly a program of that caliber that mm-hmm. would be asking that question. So, yeah, winning this game would go a long way. Obviously, you don't make decisions based on one win or one loss, but winning this game would go a long way for Cristobal, winning the fan base back. It would set them up for potential for eight wins, which would be a huge step forward. Increasing by three in one offseason is huge, but they're going to be up against it, right? Like, I, I just don't know that I, yeah, I, for all that I said about not trusting Louisville, I definitely trust Miami less in this one too. So it, everything's up against the Hurricanes. It's a big opportunity, but they've shown time and time again that they can't rise to that opportunity. Well, and it's not Miami. It's Cristobal. That's the problem. Miami could be good. They could be a really good team. They've got everything in front of you that you would want. They've got big money. They've got you know a, a great fan base. They're in a good location. They could be great. Right. This this isn't a team that really has that much excuse. But guys, if you travel all the way back to episode one of this podcast, the first thing we did was our, our best coaching hires of last offseason. Yeah. I left Cristobal off my list. And, and a lot of people, you know, later texted me saying, What what happened with Cristobal? Why didn't you put Cristobal on the list? It's because I didn't think he was that good. His legacy game at this point in his career is Georgia Tech. That's his legacy game right now, is the fact that he oh, yeah. was so poor at the end game management that he let a team climb back from Hades to, to find their way back to victory. And, and look, this is just – he's not a good coach. He's – what, he's won like one home game, two home games in conference maybe. I haven't even been paying that attention because they're just irrelevant. Right? They're just – they're not that good of a program under Crystal Ball, and it, I don't think that he's going to have success there. So, look, it, we can say whatever we want to about Louisville. I think they're, you know, they're fine. I think they'll keep having a good season. Like they'll they'll end up in a good spot this year. They'll probably get you know dumped in their bowl game. But um, I, I just think, look, Miami's not good. Miami's just a really bad team, and it's all Crystal Ball's fault because he's just not a good coach. He doesn't know how to put players in a good position. Well, on that note, let's uh, let's get over to the picks graphic. Uh, I'm going to take Louisville minus the one. Do I trust the Cardinals? No, not really. Uh, but I trust Miami even less, and it sounds like that's the exact same boat that you guys are in. Yep, ditto that, and there's the kiss of death graphic right there. Screenshot that, and yep. when Miami gets the legacy win, we'll uh, circle back to that. Gracious, yep. how about that?